Hello, my reading friends, and welcome back to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading Ambrosia. If you have this book, let's read it together. Reading Rocket Ambrosia Words by Dan Manilang Illustrations by Nicole Wong A funny thing happened at the market today. It happened in the fruit section where the fruits were at play. There were cherries cheering, watermelons warbling, raspberries rapping, and lemons laughing. Tangellos were tangoing, mangoes fandangoing, figs jigging, and guavas tinnacling. Purple plums were plummeting, tangerines tumbling, bananas bashing, and papayas dashing. There were berries flipping through the air. And pears leaping without fear. Yippee! When suddenly, something fell from the sky. It was round, brown, and had dark eyes. What could it be? Where did it come from? Nobody knew. It's certainly not one of us, the pineapple pompously accused. The curious banana asked, What might you be? He declared, I am a coconut. I am what you see. You're round, round and hairy said the strawberry. You round, brown and scary, whimpered the quivering cherry. On the contrary, I'm just like you, a fruit, confessed the coconut. Fruit or no fruit, I think you're rather cute, <whistles> proclaimed the peach. The coconut construed. I grew up on a warm, sandy beach in a tall, skinny tree on a tropical island of the Philippines and proud to be. The grumpy grape uttered with little regard. You can't be a fruit. Your shell is too hard. The coconut silently smiled, removing his shell to discard. He revealed he was smooth as an apple. Crisp and clean. He was as juicy as an orange, but his juice was sweet milky cream. The blueberry took one taste and blushed with blue. She smirked at the grumpy grape and declared, He's sweeter than you! They took turns partaking of the coconut and were very well pleased. Mm. <sighs> Convinced he was a fruit, they all happily agreed. A valuable lesson was revealed to all that day. They truly believed what the coconut had to say. You must never judge a fruit by the color of its skin, he humbly said, or where it came from, or where it has been. What truly matters always comes from within. We should never judge a book by its cover, because although we may appear and act differently, we're all, actually, quite the same. I really enjoyed reading this book with you today, and I hope you did too. I'll see you next time.